Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Portes here in Drive Club. I've just got to drive a level 35, as you can see, which means that I have finally unlocked the McLaren P1. As you can see, I have not driven it yet at all, and I thought it would be fun to, for the first time ever driving, to record uh, just a video of me driving it, but I'm not just going to do any old driving it. We're going to pop into settings here, go to gameplay, and we're going to change the gear type to manual. So I have never driven this car, uh, and I <laughs> therefore have certainly never driven it in manual. This is going to be an absolute disaster, but I thought it would be fun to record maybe like a time trial. It on say, let's say Norway, let's say this track, I love this track, uh, yeah, we'll keep those settings and that, and, uh, let's see if the leaderboards are going to load in, yeah, okay, that's my current time, not amazing, but, uh, let's see what we can do with the McLaren P1, see if we can make that time a good bit shorter, and I tell you what, we are going to keep the standard paint job. Oh my, I'm excited. Look at it. Finally, after like... 5,597,500 points or something. So like 5.5 million uh, points in fame. Oh, hold on. Holding the curves button, cross button by default gives you an instant boost of power, improving the vehicle's acceleration. Activating DRS L1 by default enables you to reach a higher top speed. However, it can make the vehicle harder to control. Okay, so X is speed boost. L1 is like higher top speed. Well, we may not be able to do that if I've got it in manual. <laughs> because, like, I'm going to be shifting gears. Thank you for that information, though. Um, oh, God. Thank <laughs> you. 
right though, you have to be really useful to try and get it out. Okay. Yeah, a little beat up. Three minutes thirteen, so I'm slower than my time I posted in a much, much, much slower car. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I am in the top five hundred though. Within the top five hundred, four hundred and ninety-six. All right. Well, say what we'll do. We'll have another go uh, on automatic, and uh, this time, because we're on automatic, we'll see if we can make uh, better use of curves and all that, just while we still have time in this video. Hopefully, curves take kinetic energy from breaking generates the energy generated from breaking and feeds it into the uh, kinetic energy from breaking and feeds it into a battery that is charged to make it an electric motor it's triggered when I activate those and then that will uh, basically provide an instant speed boost from that electric motor and increase the acceleration like the the screen controller. But then we can use my new curves after slowing down. The new star will like the corners are coming by so quickly. Right here. Oh my god. A little too much, I think. Oh, beautiful. Got to be in play here. Play down a lot there. Yeah, it really does. Ah, did it too much. Ah, wow. Obviously, it was all about beating my time, and I obviously didn't do that. Uh, I did do an accolade, though. Uh, a bit more progress to one. Um, let's see if we can fit a lap time in. I don't know when the video is going to cut off, but I know it's going to record 
P1, and that's more like it. That'll get me up the leaderboard. Where am I now? 448. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the McLaren P1 in Drive Club. And uh, till next time, that shoddy drivemanship was by Andrew Portes. And, uh, yeah, take care. Uh, take care and, um, see you again soon. Bye-bye.